Go ahead. The rest of it. So the muscle structure, I used a lot of references from anatomy books and zoo books. Don't blame me. I know they're for kids, but they're very, very useful for art. Um, but with the muscle structure, I'm using... You put your hands towards it and stuff. Uh, I'm just... using very rough shapes. I'm not really focusing much on cutting corners yet. Because this is just rough, and it'll it'll hide. I'll be able to hide it under the fabric when we put it over for the skin. Mm-hmm. And okay, now turn her over and talk about the eyes. You were talking about glowing on the inside of the eyes, so I'll flip her inside out there. Yeah. No. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Yeah, it was like that. There you go. And for the eyes, we're going to put some wiring in here, and we're going to make them glow in the dark. And for this puppet, I'm going to use actual interchangeable heads so that if somebody wants, like, a more dinosaur-like puppet, then... Well, we're just working on this right now. Okay. We're just saying stuff like this. So the head part probably isn't going to get... Right. No. Because the... this is when you were talking about how you're putting the lights in. Mm -hmm. I won't even use my audio. That's why I'm talking right now. Mm. I'm going to use your voiceover and show these little clips of your your eyes coming okay. in. So you're going to have your 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 eyes glowing in there. Go ahead and move your fingers around in there. Yeah, so you'll have your, your lights your lights all inside there. And... Yep. See? There we go. 